Theaters are no longer the place, the only place where you can find 3D technology. Consumer Reports just tested several new 3D products on the market. Two News anchor Aaron Christie has results in tonight's segment two. Watching 3D TV isn't just about sports or movies. More and more 3D video games are coming out. At Consumer Reports Labs, the games are creating quite a buzz. It was great. You guys having as much fun as I am? Video games are just one of many 3D products on the market. There are also 3D laptops. But Consumer Reports testers on this Acer show, the 3D effects aren't very exciting and the viewing angle is very limited. But Consumer Reports' Terry Sullivan says this 3D point-and-shoot camera is more promising. The Fujifilm FinePix Real 3D W1 camera is pricey at $600, but it shoots 3D photos and and videos. It's really cool that you can watch 3D video on this camera without needing to wear special glasses, but you have to shoot it horizontally, not vertically. However, take a pass on the camera's $500 3D digital frame. Tester Rich Fisco says double images and experienced eye strain are common. And what about those latest 3D TVs being tested at Consumer Reports? They include this 63-inch plasma from Samsung and this 40-inch Sony LCD. Testers are still finding big differences in performance. So far, we're finding that plasma is a better technology for 3D. And when it comes to screen size, bigger is definitely better for 3D's immersive experience with movies and video games. Consumer Reports advice, if you're looking to buy a high-end TV right now already, go ahead and get one that's 3D. Top rated are the Panasonic VT20 and VT25 series, which start at about $2,500. Aaron Christie, 2 News works for you. Aaron, thanks. Now, there are other expenses like additional glasses, which cost more than $100 a pair. And you'll need a 3D Blu-ray player for movies, and those run $200 to $400. You'll find all this information under the money section of KJ. KJRH.com.